In today's video lesson, I'd like to go through the mirror tool in Onshape and try to show you some of the cool ways that you can use it for some of your projects. The mirror tool just happens to be one of the tools that lives in both environments. It lives in the sketch environment and the 3D environment, so I'm going to try to cover both. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start a new 2D sketch. So what's a good way to describe the mirror tool? Um, kind of think of like butterfly wings. You have a central axis and then you have a mirrored pattern across both sides. Um, let me show you an example. So I'm going to go ahead and draw just an axis and I'm going to go ahead and draw an object. And that's it. So what I'd like to do is send a mirror of this object to the other side. So once I grab the mirror tool, which is up here at the top, the first thing it wants is a mirror line. So I'll pick that line that I made. Then it wants me to pick any entities I want to send to the other side. And that's it. Um, so what all did that do? It actually made a duplicate of it that's actually a mirror. Now it really doesn't look like a mirror yet. So let me make a couple changes to it so that you get a better idea what I mean when I say mirror. So there you go. So now I actually have a mirror of it, or an exact opposite of it. Nice part is, whatever happens to one side happens to both sides. So this has what we call symmetry, and this axis is actually a line of symmetry. So as I highlight this line of symmetry, you can see that these symmetrical constraints are popping up. And that's actually one of the geometric constraints that you have. So you can kind of make a mirror yourself. Um, so if I had an object on one side and I wanted to send it to the other side, if I had already drawn it and I wanted those two to be symmetrical or a mirror, then I could always use that tool without the mirror. So I'm going to come up here to symmetric. I'm going to pick my line of symmetry and then the two objects. And it'll do the same thing as mirror. Um, but really it does it to just one entity at a time rather than doing it to an entire shape. So is there anything else about mirror? Uh, well, right now I have a line of symmetry that is away from my object. Uh, can you actually use the object itself? Well, yeah, sure. Uh, so let me go ahead and delete these things. Okay, so a line of symmetry is any edge that you can select. Uh, so it can actually be part of the object. So if I go ahead and say mirror, pick my line here, I can then pick the entire thing and it'll send it over. Um, I can then go ahead and mirror a mirror. So if I wanted to mirror it across this line and pick everything, then I could do that. And again, the really nice part is now whatever I do to one part happens to all of them. And that's really mirror. Um, anything else in Sketch? Uh, oh, yeah, I guess that the line of symmetry doesn't have to be flat um, or horizontal or vertical. So whatever you've got, I can mirror an object across that line. Um, so if I wanted two things to be at 45 degree to each other or whatever, um, you can do that as well. The only thing is it has to be a straight line. I can't mirror something across a curve. And so that's it. There's not a whole lot to trying to use the mirror tool itself. I just need a line of symmetry and some entities that I want to send across. The harder part is trying to visualize where that line of symmetry is on your actual part and then trying to identify features that actually could benefit from using the mirror. So is there anything different to using the mirror tool in the 3D environment? Well, let's take a look. So the first thing I need to do is go ahead and have a feature. I need some kind of 3D entity to actually work with. Um, I can't use the 3D tool on a 2D object. And the first thing that is a little bit different is you have to actually select the entities first and then the mirror plane. So I'll go ahead and pick the entity that I want and then you actually have to come over here and touch or click mirror plane because there could be several entities out here and it doesn't know when I'm done picking things. The other one picked the mirror plane first so that made it a lot easier. So since I'm picking entities, I now have to actually click that red box. Then I can go ahead and pick the face, and it'll mirror for me. Um, I can then go ahead and flip the part over, and the cool part is that you can mirror a mirror. So I can go ahead and mirror the entire thing across this mirror plane. And it's the same thing. It's all parametric or adaptive. If I then go and I change one part, it will then adapt and change all the parts for me. So that's really it to trying to use the mirror tool. In 2D mode, you need a line of symmetry and entities, and in 3D mode, you need features and a face or a plane that you can try to mirror across. And hopefully that's enough information for you to start using mirror in some of your designs.